Louis Vuitton versus Chanel. Which fashion brand is better? Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I am talking about Louis Vuitton versus Chanel, which is better. Now before I get started into the video, if you like the content on this channel, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for considering and on with the video. So Chanel and Louis Vuitton are like one of the most popular luxury fashion houses out there. I mean, they are fashion powerhouses that are recognized globally. I think arguably the two are probably one of the most famous ones for French fashion houses on the top of like the luxury pyramid. Uh, but to itself, it's like very different aesthetically, although they are both very popular worldwide. So today I want to talk about the differences between the two brands, which is brother, talk a little bit about the history, the price ranges, target audience, a little bit about the style and aesthetic, the materials, craftsmanship, resale value, and ultimately come to the verdict, which is better and specifically, which is better for you. Hopefully help you decide between these two powerhouses of luxury brands, which fits your needs and it's the right fit for you. So let's get started. Starting off, I want to talk a little bit about history. Now for Chanel, Coco Chanel founded the brand in 1910, making lots of like hats and fashion forward um, accessories. But it wasn't until 1913 that she opened her first boutique that was selling like ready to wear women's wear. And then afterwards, after um, Gabriella Chanel passed away. It was Karl Lagerfeld that really took on the fashion house to a whole new world for kind of what is renownedly known for it nowadays. So that's a little bit about Chanel history. So for Louis Vuitton, it is one of the oldest luxury fashion house, originally coming from luxury trunk and luggage making, founding in 1854. And then it was 1894 when Vuitton finally designed like the renowned famous LV monogram canvas that we now know and love today. And still Louis Vuitton is one of the second oldest brands that are still operational today and one of the most valuable luxury brands in the world for like decades now. So what is the difference between Chanel versus Louis Vuitton. I mean, there are some very significant differences I think you should be aware of before deciding which one is the right one for you. They are similar in some ways, but there are just so many things that are like key deciding factors. So let's start off with price ranges. Okay, so I would say yes, price or affordability, how expensive it is, it is all relative. That is just a caveat I want to add on. To start with, Chanel is, I would say, a little bit more expensive than Louis Vuitton. On average, for this fashion house, bags will cost at least around $3,500 to at least $12,000. And they have regular price increases at least like twice a year. And of course, the prices are going to depend on the sizes and the material of the bag and how popular it is. So that's for Chanel. Whereas Louis Vuitton, the price ranges are a little bit more accessible. It's around like around $1,200 to like $7,000 or so. And that's for coated canvas, Louis Vuitton monogram bags, in addition to like the other leather options. But I think out of both brands, Chanel definitely takes the cake for costing a little bit more for designer brand handbags. So number two, I want to talk about the target audience. I think both brands are just like super popular for all ages, but I would say Chanel caters to a slightly kind of older crowd that love like kind of elegance of it. Whereas Louis Vuitton, I think is still very classic. I think Louis Vuitton is catered to a more kind of wider audience. It does have like the classic timeless appeal, but I think it also has the option for it to be very uh, accessible for younger audience something that's streetwear they can wear from day to day as well whereas i think louis vuitton not only focus on elegance but like 
focus on like the idea of exploration and travel coming from his luggage and um, history that it comes from so I would say for Louis Vuitton definitely a larger audience as opposed to Chanel next I want to talk about style and aesthetic now I started talking about how Chanel is a little bit more sophisticated I would say Louis Vuitton I know is known for like the iconic monogram prints like we know the Louis Vuitton uh, monogram canvas that is known for that's plastered in all of the handbags and uh, a lot of their ready to wear clothes as well is very well recognized of course there's also the Demir Eben along with the monogram canvas that is very popular and often Louis Vuitton is considered like a statement piece and even if you don't know handbags you would know Louis Vuitton Chanel on the other hand I think is a very timeless handbag collection that they have but it's a little bit more sophisticated um, I know it has a very signature interlocking C logo that you'll find in a lot of their handbags and they are very popular uh, but I would say Louis Vuitton is a little bit more versatile more ready to wear that kind of goes with many occasions and LV is pretty logo centric as well uh, as you can see in a majority of their handbags but both of the logos for both brands I think automatically reflects the prestige and just like people would just know the fashion house instantly they are just so well known I've just put so much funding towards bringing the logo out there to have this prestige that they have with the brand next I want to talk about materials and craftsmanship Chanel bags, I think majority of it is more calfskin, lambskin, which generally are more luxurious material, I would say, and more expensive. Uh, it does remain quite soft and supple over time, which is great. Whereas Louis Vuitton is more known for, I would say, coated canvas as opposed to leather, even though they have leather in their handbags. And the coated canvas are known for the LV monogram, the Demi Urbain, Demi Urbain. Um, despite they still have like epi leather and imperial leather, like lock me leather, just so many different finishes as well. Um, in terms of like the craftsmanship, like Louis Vuitton bags made from a range of different areas. Like there's France, Spain, Italy, and also the United States. And I don't know about everybody else, but I've had varying experience in terms of craftsmanship for Louis Vuitton. Um, I would say the same for Chanel too. In recent years, I've noticed that Chanel hasn't been really keeping up to pace in terms of its reputation for quality. So I'm really divided between if one quality is better for one brand versus I think it really depends on the specific product itself. Okay, next I want to talk about resale value. Both Louis Vuitton and Chanel bags are definitely great options to hold on to the value compared to like other fashion houses they have good resale value and i don't think you're surprised to hear that if you check out pre-love market there's just a lot of louis vuitton and chanel out there i would say chanel generally hold their value a little bit better than louis vuitton that's to say that you probably get a higher price than what you had originally purchased for in the boutique given that they have a number of price increases and i find that chanel has a little bit more limited production of certain products, especially their classic flaps that are really popular. And because of the exclusivity of that, um, I think the resale value is a bit better in the pre-love market. That's not to say that there is not a market for Louis Vuitton handbags. I think Louis Vuitton with the prominent logos and monograms, you can easily find just so many options available in the pre-love market. I just find that the value doesn't go as high as opposed to a Chanel classic flap, but there are definitely a lot of popular options like the Neverfull, the Alma BB, and like the Speedy that you'll commonly find in the pre-love market that are still available to purchase in the pre-love market. I do note that both brands have regular price increases, so both LV and Chanel do retain their value if you keep them in good quality in the secondhand market. So what is my final verdict between Chanel versus Louis Vuitton? Which is better and which is better for you? This is a hard question to ask, but I think there's ways to simplify it. They are both super popular. 
while Chanel I think is more popular within a limited target audience, Louis Vuitton is more renowned worldwide and that has such like a wider audience reaches the younger generation a little bit more, especially given the price ranges is a little bit more accessible as opposed to a Chanel. I think the challenge in terms of choosing between the two brands and like trying to decide which is better for yourself is one, what is your budget? Two, what is your lifestyle? Like what is your um what's the style that you like and how often you want to use this bag so i think those questions if you can answer it it's will make this choice a lot easier for you i mean both chanel and louis vuitton are like both top brands for gorgeous handbags when you're thinking of luxury handbags you just automatically think about these two brands for sure they both have like a timeless appeal that is instantly recognizable you just can't go wrong with picking up a Chanel or Louis Vuitton handbag because they are just so iconic but they're definitely really pricey um, expensive options for handbags um, I would say that if you are on a budget and you're looking for something more or less than $2,000 or $3,000 Louis Vuitton is the way to go it's definitely a little bit more accessible for budget wise Next, I want to talk about personal style. You need to think about if your lifestyle is a little bit more casual or you're a little bit more dressed up. If you're a little bit more dressed up, I find that Chanel is a better option for a dressier look, whereas Louis Vuitton is a little bit more versatile, great for like day to day and won't break the bank. I think like a speedy and never full, like just very versatile handbags to add to your collection. And last but not least, also think about like how often you may want to use some of these handbags because the maintenance will be different for let's say you get a classic canvas handbag from louis vuitton versus like a lambskin handbag from chanel that will probably scratch a little bit more easily i think lv canvas is a little bit more carefree uh, which is great if you're planning on using it very often and it's going to be a little bit lighter as well but with that said i do find that there's just more louis vuitton handbags around so if you want something a little bit more unique I think the Chanel will be a great option, although that the price ranges will go a little bit higher out there. But keep in mind that it will have a better resale value as opposed to Louis Vuitton. So that is my take on Chanel versus Louis Vuitton, which is better and which is better for you. At the end, I don't think you can go wrong with either brand. They will both retain their value, but just have to keep in mind on what your budget is, what your style is, and how often you plan on using the bag. I hope this video was helpful in helping you decide. And with that said, thank you so much for joining me in this video, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.